What's up guys, I'm James, and welcome back to the Great Gambino channel. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Zoom F2 field recorder with lavalier mic. I get a lot of questions asking how I record my voice for virtual reality videos, so I'll be taking you through the process and showing you how to set it up in Adobe Premiere. If you would like to skip ahead to the tutorial part, I will have a time code link in the description. Without further delay, let's jump into it. Before we unbox the product, I want to say that I did buy this from a company called Sweetwater. I am not in any way sponsored by them, but I wanted to mention that they have great customer service. Every time I purchase a product from them, a salesperson actually calls to confirm and let me know that they have received my order. In addition, they always include this little bag of candy that you see here going along with a Sweetwater theme. I thought that was another nice little touch. Inside, we have basic warranty and instruction manuals, one set of AAA batteries, and three windscreen covers with a mic clip. This recorder comes with a decent quality lavalier mic that has a screw down 3.5 millimeter plug, so you will not have to worry about it becoming detached while moving around in VR. On the reverse side, we have the actual mic. Lav mics are always nice and small, so they are well hidden during filming. The windscreen cover fits nice and snug over the mic, leaving a small space for the clip to attach. I really like this particular clip because it is rotatable, making it a little bit easier to attach to various articles of clothing. Of course, the last piece is the F2 field recorder. It's nice, very compact, and feels much smaller in person than I thought from the advertisements. Along the top, we have a USB-C connection port, a threaded outlet for headphones, and a threaded input for the lav mic. Here is an example of how the mic connects. Along the front, you have light indicators for your input and battery, four buttons for audio playback, and a record on off hold switch, which will come in handy to prevent accidentally turning off while filming in VR. Around back, you will find a belt clip that can be used to easily fasten to your waist. Looking at the bottom, we see the micro SD card slot. Loading the batteries is really easy. Just slide off the front and simply insert the two included AAAs. One of the things I love about this new Zoom F2 is that it features 32-bit float recording technology that eliminates the need for gain and volume adjustments while shooting. It definitely makes the editing process much easier, which I'm going to go over now. This large cluster of clips is from a recent project. We are not going to worry about that right now. Let's slide over here to the right and use a clean section of the timeline. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in my camera footage. Now every time I begin a VR playthrough and my camera plus audio recorder are running, I slap my knee to create an audio peak and visual cue. Once you locate that section on the clip, this is where you will make your first cut. Next, I will drag down the audio file created with the zoom recorder. Just like with the camera footage, I will need to find the audio peak that was created by slapping my knee. The movies, the movies, rec room, the movies. Once you hear it, zoom in to be as precise as possible and make your second cut on the audio move. file. The move. Now, you will line up the audio and video together. When playing back, it should sound synced up with a slight echo. Movies. To make things even more precise, I will go to the very middle of the clip and find a nice audio peak. Then, I will zoom in really close and make micro adjustments on the zoom file until it lines up as perfect as possible. Once complete, I will play it back to see if the echo has reduced. I didn't send you an invite because I didn't see you, sugar. It sounds pretty good, so we will move on to the next step. What we want to do is click over here to the left, locking the camera's audio layer. After that, you can highlight and delete the camera's original onboard audio, eliminating any other echo. Unlock the camera video layer and highlight both the camera clip along with the zoom recording. Hover your cursor over the video clip and right click to open up options where you are going to select link. What this will do is marry the two clips together so they can be moved and edited as one. If you would like to adjust the audio and make it louder, it's as easy as right clicking on the audio sequence, then selecting audio gain, and simply typing in the number of increase you would like. Hold, you're probably set for like three lifetimes. If you do not like it, then Control Z to undo. You can play with this to get things exactly where you want them. All right, that's going to wrap up this quick video about voice recording in virtual reality and the Zoom F2. Thank you for sticking with me all the way until the end of the video. I definitely really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.